In this video, we're going to look at the utility maximizing choice of consumption and leisure. The utility function is given by u equals c times l squared. c is the number of consumption purchases. l is hours of leisure. h is hours of work. And we're going to assume there's 24 hours in the day, so hours of work will equal 24 minus hours of leisure. Uh, the price of consumption is $5. P equals 5. The hourly wage is $10 and this person has non-labor income and equal to sixty dollars we want to solve for the utility maximizing choice of consumption and leisure in a 24-hour day first thing we're going to do is get the marginal utility of leisure we're going to take the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to l leisure and we get back to cl this exponent here on the l term comes down in front and then we subtract one from that exponent we get the marginal utility of consumption, another partial derivative. This time we get back L squared. The utility maximizing condition is such that the marginal rate of substitution equals a real wage. Uh, graphically, this is where the slope of the indifference curve equals the slope of the consumer's budget line. The marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility of leisure divided by the marginal utility of consumption and the slope of the budget line is just a real wage and that is the wage divided by the price level so making our substitutions into this utility maximizing condition on the left hand side we got 2CL which is a marginal utility of leisure and that's all divided by the marginal utility of consumption L squared the wage is 10, and we're going to divide that by the price level of 5. Now simplifying this utility maximizing condition, we get this. And now we're going to just solve for C. And C will equal L. Our next step is to plug this result into the budget constraint, but let's first form the budget constraint or the budget line. And the budget line is going to be given by the following. The consumption purchases, number of consumption purchases, will equal the real wage times hours of work plus the real non-labor income. So N is non-labor income dividing by the price level gives us real non-labor income. So now we're just going to make a number of substitutions into this right-hand side. The wage is 10. The price level is 5. We said hours of work equals 24 minus L, hours of leisure. The consumer has $60 of non-labor income, and once again, the price level is 5. So simplifying up the right-hand side, 2 times 24, and then 2 times minus L. And then 60 divided by 5, we get this. Uh, further simplification, C equals 60 minus 2L. So we got two C equations, C equals L and C equals 60 minus 2L. Let's just set both of those C equations equal to one another. So we get L equals 60 minus 2L. And solving for L, the utility maximizing hours of leisure equals 20. And since C equals L, the utility maximizing number of purchases equals 20 units. In terms of hours of work, hours of work equals 24 minus L. So this person works four hours. The total dollars spent on consumption is just going to be the price of consumption times the number of consumption purchases, and that is $100. The person's labor income is the wage times hours of work. So the person makes $40 in the labor market. And the person also has non-labor income of $60. So the total income here equals the total dollars spent on consumption. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.